Good morning, friends. Welcome. Hello. What a way to start our day with a lovely raid from the beautiful Donna. Thank you so much, Donna, for bringing everybody here. Like, you were like right on, like, live but go. Live go. I love it. Welcome, friends. I am Kiki. My pronouns are she, they. I'm a polymer clay artist. Uh, today we're working on cute little hot air balloons, um, earrings and necklaces that we're going to make. And uh, I was not expecting <laughs> to start out this way. So hello, friends. Hello. Um, I'm just going to hop right into this because my plants don't look fabulous back there today. So, um, hello. Hi. Welcome. Hi, Deb. Hello, everyone. Don Nobody expects the snickerdoodle invasion. Nobody expects it. It's delightfully um, chaotic. Chaotic good, I think, is the best way to describe a lot of streamers like Donna. Uh, not not just streamers, but, you know, generally good people are on the internet. Oh, Crudler, I forgot to turn my lights on again. No! the time between work and adulting. Be right back. No problems. Thank you for bringing everybody here. Even if, uh, even if you can't stick around, if you need to raid and run, I totally get it. Everybody, everybody, follow our good friend Donna, who pretty much bases every stream around philanthropy and is an all-around general amazing human being. As reminders, Kiwi's title will be in and out of chat, so we'd like to keep it PG. Yes, my little is uh, in and out today. <laughs> Not that we're really much beyond PG-13, but thank you, Deb. Uh, I don't think that they're here right now. I think they haven't yet realized I've gone live. <laughs> they're upstairs with Dad this morning, so we might actually have a little hunter-free zone today just because uh, Dad's home to keep them occupied while I stream today. <laughs> Friday, though, I'm sure little hunter will be around because that'll be at work. <laughs> All right, so uh, we were left off. We had made our beginning sections of our hot air balloons out of like a polymer clay slab with some um, gold and silver foil. We're making like the basket sections of it right now. Um, and so we're just kind of weaving and it is kind of a, a slow process, but it's kind of fun to watch. It's very, I find it's very um, satisfying to watch it come together. Hey, I'm still doing my job, man. Gotta do a protect. You are. You are doing a great job, Deb. This place runs much more smoothly since you came on board. All right. So my clay is all a little cold because it's been sitting here for two days. But thankfully, I've been keeping... Oh, no. See, yeah, see, that's exactly what I was worried about is the clay gets cold and it has a tendency to break. All of these are breaking. So, I think what we're going to do huzzah! Huzzah, is we're going to use this for this section, and then we can probably start again. I'll just have to recondition the clay and extrude it, which will be fine. I'm not entirely, I'm not entirely surprised that that happened at all. So, what we're going to do is we're going to essentially experiment with this. Hello, Empress. Welcome here. Welcome here. Welcome. <laughs> That was a poorly timed huzzah. It kind of was, but I totally get it. <laughs> All right. So this was always the plan where we were going to flatten this out. Right? And you get the nice basket weave look that way. But it's still defined. It kind of came a little less defined over here. So maybe I'll be a little gentler with the rolling the next time. But we get like our little basket we use. Cute. Cute. What a good day to use that because I am wearing my Schitt's Creek t shirt and using my Schitt's Creek mug today because it's a Schitt's Creek kind of day. Ooh, hold on, give me one second. Actually, here. 
Okay, so I can't show that. I can't show the, can't show the front of this one. But look, I got mail today. If I show the front, I'll totally dox myself. So these are actually for you. What? Ooh, presents. They're not really good presents, but they're ones you'll enjoy. Okay. Well, All right. Rock. Hey, look, we got mail, and we weren't supposed to have mail, but we have mail. <laughs> or I wasn't expecting to have mail. Well, excuse me, princess. Hunter loves to sit and, like, use his hands to, like, clean the cat hair, like, off the little corners of the stairs where it builds up and stuff like that. Because um, vacuuming is not my favorite chore. So things like that get get a little less, not as great as they should. Uh, <laughs> Brenda makes the, oh, she does. I love it. Um, so... I got one of those things off of AliExpress where it's like the comb for it and it like gets up really, really good. And I just thought, I'm like, hey, this will be your fun. I'm cleaning the hair off the carpet fidget <laughs> toy. All right. Oh, so this month, the Patreon. Oh, look how pretty that is. Patreons this month are the moss. Look at how nice these are. Because I'm in the lowest male tier, so I got stickers every month from our beautiful Brenda. Thank you so much for shouting out, Brenda, while we uh, had our, our moths, where apparently she spent an absurd amount of time gazing and awe at photos of moth while she made this series. <laughs> they are beautiful, Brenda. Thank you so much for always being an amazing artist. Okay, I'm going to put these back over here. So, like, the, you remember, we remember the kitty pencil case that we made, right? The kitty pencil case contains almost exclusively, like, all of my Patreon stickers. <laughs> not, not, not exclusively, because there's some, some from Grays, but <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. I needed to, I need to, I just decapitated Brenda. Oh, no, how rude. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. But I love them. But I mean, that, that's kind of the point, is to do that to Brenda, right? <laughs> she puts them on like that. It's a given. I love the envelopes that they come in. She does, like, really cool, like, paint on the cover of all of her envelopes. But I can't show you that part because, you know, it's that's my address. I do need a Stickums book, but I was one of those kids with stickers where I'm like... But I don't want to stick it. Like, they're nice, and they're crisp, and they're... I want them perfect. And and then and then I don't know what to do when they become not perfect anymore. I don't know. So I like them on the pages, but I don't, I don't know what to do. All right. So those came out pretty decently. And I'm going to put, like, a little bit of extra embellishment. Like, I'm going to put... Um, like a row of rope along the top on these ones so it gets like that whole band around the um, hot air balloon look to it. I'm going to put these up here for now. I'll move them back when it's time to bake them or at least I'll move those off but I just want to keep them out of the way where they're not going to get damaged. So yeah, like Struble has. Struble has some pretty good ones. And I mean, I could consider it, it would have to be one of the ones like with like the, the plastic where you can like peel it off really easily where it's like literally almost like the back of a sticker sheet kind of plastic, but I don't know. Hunter's up playing with it right now. So it looks like they work on the ads, but I don't know if they actually work. So I guess we'll find out. At some point in time, I'm sure Hunter will sit down and play with it on the stairs, and then I guess I'll find out. <laughs> if I go upstairs and my stairs are clean, that tells me the answer, right? You could do double-sided tape on them for the pages of the notebook. Maybe. If Hunter comes in and gives Kiki a wig of cat hair, then we know how it works. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't put it past him to do that. Like, even if he hadn't heard the suggestion... If he hears Asian suggestion, it's almost guaranteed he would try that. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him to come up with that on his own. <laughs> I 
All right. Oh, where is there? Okay, there it is. All right, so we're gonna extrude this. And also, yes, please. All right, we're making squeaky clay. About these like I love that I've done these with like the cutters and the, and that and that it's really cute and fun to do them but now I'm just like but I want to actually sculpt little hot air balloon baskets now like I want to make little 3d ones or at least half 3d ones so that's probably going to be an upcoming project because this has inspired more hot air balloons <laughs> Oh, did I miss the brilliant idea for the photo? How am I always missing messages? Do I like you? Could, no, I saw the double-sided tape. Wait, no, wait, that was. Wait, what did I miss? So pretty. I need a sticker book like. Struble, Stickman's book, Emperor's Great Minds, double-sided tape. I don't know if the cat here things work. Made you myself. What about a photo? Oh yes, sorry, the photo album. The photo albums are what I had as a kid, and I don't know. It always feels weird because I, where you had like the tape, tape, uh, like the page where you peeled it up. I don't know. It feels weird to do them. They're also not very easy to come by anymore. Although I could probably find one at Value Village. There seems to always be stuff like that at Value Village. How did I... I don't know how I always end up missing stuff, but like that. I did the pop in the ingredients chat last night, and I don't know if anybody saw it. Pop the ingredients in chat last night. Oh, the for the salad. At the risk of weirdness on the internet, the hell? <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> there are those, like... It's supposed to, it's those things where they, like, bring the hair right up off the rug. Oh! Because you love sitting and playing with, like, pulling the hair up off the carpet. I thought you might enjoy these right. as a fun, fun, weird... Okay, weird, correct. Fun, <laughs> fun. I also expected to use them myself for cleaning. I just thought it would be funny if I'd be like, it's for well, you. excuse me, princess. This is the kind of presence that I'm being given here, people. They really want to know if it works. This is the kind of presence I'm that being given here. Sense. Okay. Sorry, I missed a whole bunch. Um, thanks, you have foodstuffs channels. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, they, they want to know if it works. <laughs> All right, he's off to see if it works, I think. It sounds like a garbage disposal. <laughs> Happy birthday, yeah. It's very early, perhaps very late. His birthday was several months ago, so... was before Christmas. All right. Early Father's Day then. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, eh? <laughs> like, 
like, yes, but not as good as a hand? Okay. <laughs> Science. Yay! So apparently it works, but not as good as just using his hand to clean it up. What I'm hearing is I really just need to vacuum more, but vacuuming the stairs is hard. It's a pain in the butt. So. <laughs> um, this, it, it has something to do with the O-ring on it. Because I think the O-ring isn't, um... There's a like an O-ring up in here. And I think it doesn't always sit quite right. And when that happens, part of the metal rubs against the inside of the tube. That is all. And so also we're gonna put these on gold findings because these gold findings were also part of the set that Agent gifted me for my birthday. Um, there was silver in here as well, but I've relocated those into my other uh, case of findings. And so I've got one small one of just silk gold because I don't use as much gold and then all of those are in there. And I moved over some of the gold findings that I did have or that I recently purchased into here as well, so. Uh, no worries, yeah, totally understandable. I was. I'd be curious too as to why things do that kind of stuff. Has Hunter tried the rubber glove method? I've heard the cat hair sticks to dishwashing rubber gloves well. Um, I think your chat is expecting me to put a lot more effort into this than I want to. Yeah, I have to put up my cereal digital beer. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, yeah, uh, Hunter just said, like, I think they're expecting me to do a lot more of this than I, I do. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not putting that much work into this. He's just trying it out for fun. Honestly, I didn't really expect it to be just a present for Hunter. I totally expected to use it myself. I just, it seemed like the right way to introduce it as, here, you like doing this thing. I'm not liking the way this is turning out. It doesn't look quite right to me, and I kind of want to do a different looking basket weave. Because I'm not liking the way this is turning out. Hold on. I feel like it's taking too much time for the payoff. And, um... I'm going to try something a little different. <laughs> we totally hear him. Oh, good. I'm glad. All right. fake this basket weave up a whole lot is what we're going to do. And it's still going to be a little time consuming, I think, but I think inevitably it'll be less time consuming than uh, trying to actually weave this. So my gosh, it's warm in here. I had like one of those pattern cutters. Do I have? Oh, wait. 
I might have a basket weave. Um, pattern in one of my stamps. Do I? Maybe? Two. It might be too big, but no, that's not as basket weavy as I thought it was. Okay, no I don't. That is not really a basket weave. Okay. What else do I have? good as a basket weave. So I have a couple of little stamps that I are... I has feet. I has feet. And I'm back. Me too. roll these ones because if you do it distorts the whole thing you kind of just have to find a way to press the whole thing down find a good way to distribute the weight evenly right if I do these does this fit here well tell me this fits enough that when I put the uh, border on the top that it'll be covered. Okay, so we're gonna do this instead of a full basket weave. But it works and it's going to work out well. Aha! See? Perfect. I'm hoarding the points just to get the badge. <laughs> no worries. No worries, Deb. You are under no obligation to use your points, mod or not. enough it's not quite a basket weave like it's literally just like the diamond series kind of stamp would also make very good ice cream cones but it's enough of the you know visual shorthand of what a basket weave looks like that we get the point when I asked you guys about it before you're like no no it's good is something to shoot for you if it was too high, and you're like, no, no. <laughs> yes, she eater. I did say she eater. Well, I said clay press. Keep it high, goals. And I mean, it's also a permanent VIP. I've seen streamers who have like a hundred thousand VIP for 30 days. <laughs> so, I mean, there is that.
Oh no, that one didn't turn out right, but that's okay. Okay. I'm only gonna use, I'm pretty much gonna like re-roll these out a couple of times because I only want to use spots that look actually really good. So I might end up wasting like this section and then I'll just re-roll it out. But I'll get some good spots in the meantime. I think that that's probably good enough for the big ones. Maybe I'll do one or two more just to make sure I don't run out, have backups kind of thing. Always a good idea to have backups. Struble's is 7.5, yeah. If you keep it high and people want it, it gives them incentive to come back. And also your sunglasses and your head are made. They sure are. I actually have two pairs of these. Um, I have... I bought in a pair like a couple of years ago and I wear them like every day at work. So the like the paint has started to come off the sides. There's like a crack in the the frame a little bit that I had to use like UV resin to put it back together. So I bought a second pair. I went back to the store and they had more they still had them. Um it's a local um uh thrift um not quite thrift, what's the word? Um Second hand, they do a lot of second hand stuff, but it's more, uh, it's called Out of the Past in St. Catharines. It's more of a vintage clothing store than a second hand store specifically. Um, so they have some new stuff that has some really cool stuff in there as well. So they still had them. I went back and I bought another pair. So these are my, I like wear them to look nice. I wear them out of the house and stuff like that pair. And then I have my other pair that I wear just for work because they're beaten up and I mean, I, it's not a big deal. I still have my rainbow sunglasses. <laughs> um, well, I am really lucky she just gave me mine because I spend my points like a kid eats candy. Well, like you and Agent just got them by default because you've been here from the beginning, right? Like... You, got, you were both here for pretty much the entire time, so it, you kind of got grandfathered into, into it. <laughs> but if you guys really think it's too high, I can lower it a little bit. I kind of thought it might be too high, but... I have to wear sunglasses so I don't necessarily get to have fun with sunglasses. Fair enough. Fair, yeah. It, that, that is true. You don't always do. I'm not sure what I would do if I needed sunglasses or if I needed real glasses. Because I, I don't think I could ever do contacts. I don't think I could. I mean, I probably could in time. But I have issues with my eyes that I don't think I could. It would take me a lot to get used to wearing contacts, I think. I will never do contacts. Touching my eyes freaks me out. Yeah, like touching my eyes doesn't freak me out per se, but I have so many issues with like my eyes watering and being itchy and um, I have a thing with my eye because I've had so much problems with my allergies in my eyes where if I'm not careful um, and I let my allergies get too over like it let my allergies get too bad without taking something to help it. Um, that top layer of uh, fill, whatever it's called on your eye, the top layer on your eye, it will actually like get wrinkly. And, like when I move my eye, I'll, I can see like where it wrinkles up. So I have enough issues with my eyes that I don't think contacts would go well because you can't do something like that on an eye, like put contacts on an eye like that. 
So my best guess is if I ever have to get glasses, I'm going to be screwed. Now there are some glasses place where I could like walk into a glasses place and ask them to put prescription glasses in these. They might be tough for them, but sometimes you can get them to like put prescription sunglasses in your glasses. I mean, that's not cheap, but it's doable sometimes. I think that's probably enough for those ones where I'll have backup. So I can now use the small one to do the baskets for the small ones here. Yeah, if you can find a place that will do it. And I mean, because they can do it with most frames, but I mean, they may not want you with inexpensive frames, and you can't necessarily blame them for that. But. And then you've got to have multiple pairs of sunglasses, because you're like, well, these are my sunglasses, but these are my regular glasses, and that gets mighty expensive, because even if you've got coverage for sunglass for, like, eye care, chances are it only covers you for, like, one pair of glasses, so it's not like you, you'd be paying out of pocket for any of that, but yikes. Okay, so uh, we need to put holes into these baskets because I still think that the these holes would be too fine and might make a mess of things. So that's not the right one. Is this the one I want? Yes, okay. Yeah, these holes are so close together that if I tried to drill them after it was break baked, it would probably crack the clay. So as much as I prefer drilling my holes afterwards because they just look better and crisper, this is probably my best case scenario for this particular size. I'm actually going for my checkup next month, funny enough. Ooh, neat! A couple years ago, she found the beginning of one of the two major eye diseases. So I go every year. Fair enough. That's a good call. I mean, you don't want to mess with your vision, right? You know what? I'm not going to be able to put the little row on the baskets, but maybe the little jump rings will kind of act as that. But that's fine. That's fine. We're totally fine. We're just making it up as we go. And if that isn't the way that Kiki works,
she says it's very common for people with CP, and I think she said glaucoma, and I never remember. Fair enough. Glaucoma is one of those things that my dad has to keep, uh, always be very cautious about too. Like he has to go regularly for eye exams. I mean, he needs glasses anyways, but he also needs to go regularly because um, he's diabetic and he has some of the pre-warning signs for glaucoma. Um, but he also had cataracts, so it's not like a cut and dry sort of circumstance anymore for him. But he had cataract surgery, so that part is now better for him. I also think my close-up is starting to go, which like, oh yeah, my real fine close-up is definitely starting to go. Like sometimes like for me to see like the really teeny tiny details on things up really close, like it takes a lot for me to get my eyes to focus like that. So, which really worries me because you know, that's, that's my jam right there is the close-up small detail stuff. <laughs> fire up the oven in just a second once I get these to be a little bit straighter. looking pretty good, so I'm going to fire up the oven. Hmm. All right, oven is on. Hello, cucumber. Welcome in. All right. So these are all pretty much done now. I might need to take a little bit of sandpaper to them. 
once they're baked just to get off some of the rougher edges but these are all pretty much done Whee! okay cucumber what sticker would you like to put up oh I think I know what sticker you want me to put up Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right. All right, and there is our city in a t-shirt. Thank you very much, hon, for putting up your sticker. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're working on those. And what we're going to work on while we're waiting for the oven and while these are in the oven is what I thought we would do is we could do accenting work in, like, the gold paint pens. I might need to, like, actually paint some of the lines to get it to work off of, like, just using this paint. But I think that that's what we're going to accent, like, the sides and the detailing in, because I think that that might make it just stand out the way what we're hoping to kind of thing. Alright. So I'm kind of just letting some of the paint from the paint pen over here out onto one of my clear plastic post-it notes. So I've got like a little pool of it. I'm gonna try and paint with it. If I can see the lines where it needs to go. Again, where I'm talking about my fine detail, my fine details are leaving me. to get these pulled up. Ha, ah, Struble! You're working on your book cover assignment. Ooh, neato. Not really talking about, no worries, Struble. We know you've uh, needed to do a lot of lur lurking lately with your schoolwork. We totally understand. And you are always, always welcome to lurk. I know I'm being a little quiet right now. I don't know how long I've got before this, um, essentially this paint starts to dry on me, so, because I've not, never really worked with it before. Well, I have, but not quite like this, so. Okay, we will slow down in a few minutes, Cucumber, because I want to work with this before 
I have to take a break because I don't want this paint that I'm working with to dry. But we will do that right afterwards. They're looking really cute with the gold on them. Shouldn't be able to get through these little ones, and then we'll sloth philosophy. And then I'll get more ink, and we'll do the big ones. that one. I wonder if I can clean it up with a little isopropyl alcohol. Yes, hello Marshmallow. You already came up here this morning and tried to totally get in the way of um, on top of all of my clay. Yes, I have missed a bunch of chat. I'm sorry, I was focusing. Yeah, I saw you guys chatting and then not really talking. Yep, schoolwork's important. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, good, yes, please go eat Struble. Mmm, nom tolls, yes. Nom tolls are always a great idea. Um, Meow. Yeah, that was marshmallow. That was definitely a marshmallow. Meow. Can I share a link? Oh, of course you can share a link. Meow. <laughs> yes. Nom toll, the only one I don't like paying. Oh, well, that's fine. If you don't wish to pay the nom, to nom toll, you do not need to pay the nom toll. I only post nom tools when like I'm having like really super good food because otherwise I'm like yeah nobody needs to know like what silly half-assed meal I made myself but when I have sushi yeah I'll share that I have yet to use the new techniques I learned for Photoshop, but I want to do uh, some of what I know how to do, which is like draw stuff. Awesome. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh, that's cute. I like it.
So did you get, did you just like get the name of like a fictional book kind of thing that you had to um, then illustrate, or like is it an existing book that you actually got? Well, it's historical fiction theme, so we're related. But well, I hope it comes off across. I get yeah, you know what I do get that vibe a little bit once I know that it is a little bit like wartime related. That like you get that vibe in the way that the kids are dressed and that that kind of silhouette sort of thing. I like it. It's cool. All right. All right. So we will got that tidied up now. Okay. So we can, I'm going to pop these in the oven and then we will, uh, slow it down a notch. We have the little book of sloth philosophy. All right. We weren't allowed to do an existing one. Fair enough. Yeah, the teacher supplied some made up books we could choose from. Okay, that's neat. That is kind of neat. I assume not with copyright and all that. Yeah, fair enough. Well, I mean, if it's just for like educational purposes, they'd be able to, to do that, like, they, they'd be able to do that kind of stuff for educational purposes. It's not like they're selling it, but. All right. So, we are going to slow down and do a little bit of reading. Uh, so, this is where we left off. At. Um, right, so this is the one that it's all the different book suggestions, right? The guest cat, we must have read that. Okay, so I think we ended up here, and this is probably where we left off. So the Neapolitan novels. Um, so yeah, right now the section of the Little Book of Sloth Philosophy we're in is uh, the reading list of books that embody the, the sloth profile. So. Um, the uh, Neapolitan novels by Elena Ferrante. Maybe 20% of people who read these novels don't really get them and find them a bit slow or confusing. Fair warning, there are millions of characters to keep straight. For the remaining 80% of people whose brains are calibrated properly, this series will be one of the most enthralling and rewarding e reading experiences you'll ever have. The four book series, the story of two girls growing up in Naples, Italy, explore Love, friendship, romance, being female, and learning to find your way in the world. The books are addictive. Try reading just one. Uh, yeah, if there's lots of characters, I'm not going to read that. I can't keep that straight in my brain. It does not work. I've tried. Um, I read a lot of Alistair Reynolds, and he has a lot of characters in his novels, and, like, he'll just randomly introduce characters three quarters of the way through, and it turns out they're really important, and it's, like, it hurts my brain. But it's great. Thank you for flicking a bit at me. All right. The Alchemist by Paolo Colo? Kalo? I don't know how to pronounce that. By this guy. This is the kind of book you read when you're 14 and it blows your mind because your favorite book for, and it becomes your favorite book for a while until you read The Catcher in the Rye. It's also fairly short. Originally published in Portuguese, it became an international bestseller. It's about a young shepherd who has a prophetic dream which takes him to Egypt to find some treasure, and it's about following your destiny, and those kinds of books are always nice. And any children's coloring book. And who says slow reading has to actually involve reading? Because coloring books are technically still books, and they're a great way to show your slow read on to get your slow read on as long as you'd pick the right one the billion dollar adult coloring book industry grew out of a need for harried adults to calm their anxiety in a quick and easy way in reality these books are extremely complex and stressful just because you've grown up you're grown up doesn't mean you were we're capable of filling in 300 tiny spaces of a butterfly wing instead buy a children's coloring book with a nice big fat spaces and color them in at your leisure no more stressing out about how you didn't finish inking in the mitochondria from the magnified cell of the human body or a mermaid garden composed of millions of plants. 
it's true. Some of those adult coloring books are really complex. There are some adult coloring books that are a little simpler. Uh, we've gotten one of them for Little Hunter over the time, so I mean, it's not so bad. Millions of characters to keep straight. Is this a George R. R. Martin book? Yeah, maybe. George R. R. Martin does it too. Clearly. Um, I think it's more like they want us to be able to get across the vibe that the book is using color and shape. Oh yeah, that, that totally makes sense. And if you did uh, like known stuff like Sherlock Holmes and stuff, people know it makes it easier. That's also true, right? I love adult coloring. It's therapy, literal and mental. Yes, right? It is nice. All right, and then the next time we'll be moving on to sloth philosophy. Enjoy the journey for next time. There we go. All righty. Thank you very much for helping us slow down for a minute. And now we return to coloring hot air balloons with gold ink. I have this book on my Amazon wish list. Oh, is it like another, we forget. We forgot. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. I need to 11 Z's. 11 Z's. We'll be right back friends. It's nighttime in a kitchen just like yours. All is quiet. Or is it? The North American House Hippo is found throughout Canada and the Eastern United States. House hippos are very timid creatures and are rarely seen, but they will defend their territory if provoked. They come out at night to search for food, water, and materials for their nests. The favorite foods of the house hippo are chips, raisins, and the crumbs from peanut butter on toast. They build their nests in bedroom closets, using lost mittens, dryer lint, and bits of string. The nests have to be very soft and warm. House hippos sleep about 16 hours a day. That looked really real, but you knew it couldn't be true, didn't you? That's why it's good to think about what you're watching on TV and ask questions, kind of like you just did. A message from Concerned Children's Advertisers.
Sorry, 11 z's took longer than I meant it to. <laughs> I got chatting with Hunter about Final Fantasy while I was up making my tea and I got distracted. No, oh, the Canadian house tipple makes you giggle every time. It is, it is a fabulous thing. And then when I came back, my uh, alarm was going off, so I had to get stuff out of the window. But we have cat window. Um, if the glare gets too bad, I'll clearly have to change the shot. But right now, it's bright, but not too bad. <laughs> okay, let's. Let's do some accent work on some of our other hot air balloons. I'm going to do the outside as well, but I think I'm just going to start with doing the lines on the inside. Where did my paintbrush go? Did I leave it in there? I did it. Okay. Hee hee hee, kitties. So it, it, the kind of the funny thing is, is so the window in the same spot upstairs in the living room where Hunter is, Hunter has got it wide open. The window above that is his room, also wide open. Cat's down here at the closed window. <laughs> That's my cat for you. What are you going up to the open windows? Bye bye. Oh, excellent, well, great, excellent, yes. I totally missed that. Thank you for getting the citation, because clearly I missed it too. <laughs> Whoops. Sometimes I'm too lazy to get the sandpaper out, so I just use, oh, uh, that's because mom is down here though. Oh, fair enough. And I have the sloth book on my wish list. I just haven't bought it yet. Oh, cool. It's a cute little book. I, I am enjoying it. I'm really, lo I can't wait till we get to the little book of otter philosophy. We're just a little over halfway through. A little book of sloth philosophy, so we'll get there. I meant Mallow is in the basement because you're there. Oh yeah, and my mom is at work. Oh, fair enough, yes, you're right. Sometimes that matters to her. She will come down here just because I'm here. She came here like all up in my face looking for love when I was trying to get ready for stream. I'm like, I love you, cat, but you always pick the worst times <laughs> and you're sitting on my clays, please stop. <laughs> it was more that she was sitting on my clay that I was worried this morning, but. Oh, 
I almost put my um, paintbrush in my teeth. That wouldn't have been good. All right. So now we can just use the marker on the edges. stuff can make a mess if you're not careful. Especially when they're this size, you're going to end up getting a finger in something somewhere. I like that. So you can see it's like darkened the edges. I don't like it. Just unfortunate. So I think I would probably like this gold accenting if it wasn't the trans semi translucent because you can just see the way the I don't know, it's like blocking the color. It almost makes it look a little green all around the edges. I saw that non land coming, yeah. Yeah, they do that sometimes. Yep, okay. Yeah, I don't like the way that this gold is working out. I'm gonna do one other one just so I've got match, because I've got matching even ones, I might as well, but. I don't like it. vaguely patinaed look. Hmm. All right. Well, good project experiment. I'm going to try it on the, some of the big ones. Maybe if there's meth more space and it's not so close in on itself. I don't know. Hold on. I'm going to put these up so we can see them better. You can still send that pair to me, yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, I know, you're bright. Like, compared to, like, these ones, it looks, le it looks less noticeable in the camera. And these also look like little pumpkins. <laughs> Oh, I feel like this experiment is not turning out as productive as I'd hoped. But you know what? I can't expect every project to be worthy. Now, that being said, I can still probably save these for when I start doing the more 3D balloons that I want to work on. It does, yeah, it does something weird to the edges, which is unfortunate. I don't think it would do that. I mean, clearly it wouldn't do that if it was a solid color, but because it's the semi-translucent, you just see it a little bit but that's okay it just means that these aren't going to end up with a final project because i feel like they're not really well you know what let's try let's put them together as a piece and see what happens i'm just going to take off some of my finger cuts because they're all covered in gold See, the thing is, Deb, is, and this is clearly something I need to work on, 
part of my problem is, is I have a tendency to forget that uh, art is a process and it's n not everything is going to be workable the first time. Sometimes you need to experiment. But that's a hard one for me because like there's this part of me that feels like I should be productive all the time and if I'm creating I should create something that is sale worthy and I mean then that's not necessarily the case and it's not healthy to think like that so maybe this is a good reminder that not everything ends up in a sale quantity right but let's get some flyers out and give this a go Okay. Oh, I need some... Do I have gold chain? Oh no. I don't know if I have gold chain. Let me see if I have some in like some scrap because I really don't need much. But I wanted to do with this with the gold because I thought it would look really nice. But I need gold chain. I'm not sure I have any. Let me look around. when I was doing more steampunky stuff, I had this bit of um, chain that was like a combination of chains together that I don't really ever expect to use altogether anymore. I'm going to take the gold out of this and use it for this purpose. Clearly it's not been maintained in the best shape anyway, so I say we repurpose it. Can't wear them, the backs didn't click in place. Oh, you remember those clay studs I cheated on you with? I can't wear them, the backs don't click into place and I don't notice when they fall out. Oh no! Um, the next time, if um... There's an easy solution for that. Um, and that is replace the back with these rubber ones. You might have even gotten some with the earrings I sent you. Because I think... Anyways, these will be a really good alternative. Um, cause they're plastic, they'll be not, they'll be hypoallergenic and then you can just put them on over top. But, um, something like that is a really good idea and you can usually find them pretty inexpensively. If you've got a craft supply store local, you can probably find some. Yeah. But, uh, you sent both. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, you could use those little, the rubber stoppers on them. That might help keep them in place. And those I've, I've never experienced a problem with them falling out.
I'll try that if mom can get them on. They are small, as you know. Yes, it's true. A quick peek in to see how the balloons go. Work is busy, and we have four people. Ew, gross. That is gross. We determined that putting the gold paint on the edges of them is not a good idea. It makes them look like they have this weird patina to them, which I don't like. So we're just going to try and go from here. And we just salvaged some gold chain out of uh, some old um, jewelry supplies that I had that I will no longer use for that particular purpose. So I'm like, I know I won't because that's just not the way I roll anymore. Um, but yeah. Yeah, those the tiny rubber ones are tough to get on sometimes because like they're they're so hot like they the hole is so small and it's really uh but I like I swear by them. I would wear them most of the time. Um Hunter when little Hunter when they're wearing earrings that um even that have a hard back, they'll put those on the back of them so that they don't poke them in the head and so that they don't fall off cuz they're always really worried that their earrings are going to fall off. So, definitely good solutions if you can get your hands on some more of them. If I ever have cause to send you mail, I will include a few extras. No worries. Okay, so let's try and see how these work. I'm still going to have to do holes and drill holes in the top for when I actually make the earring. Um, for the little ones, I actually think I might put them on, glue them on studs though, because they're just small enough. These ones I'll still need to drill a hole at the top to put the earring in, but that's, that's okay. All right, so let's take some of these small ones here. I have these baskets here in the middle. I think feel like they came out nicely. All right, let's start with these. I'm just gonna clean up the hole a little bit. <laughs> you will the next time I order something. Well, there might be other reasons that you get mail before there's another purchase, but we'll see. One way or another, the next time mail gets sent to you, I will make sure to include a few extras. Probably going to have to order one size Yay! smaller jump rings. Yay! Oh, we're gonna tell some dad jokes. Yay! I was going to snap a pic of my cats cuddling, but just as I went to snap it, they moved. Isn't that always the case? Every time I go to take a picture of one of my cats, they're like, "Hey, you're paying attention to me," and they stop doing what they're doing. Uh, I even thought to use those, so I'm glad I brought it up with you. Excellent. Good. Or I never even thought to use those. No, I'm glad. Yeah, absolutely. Good job. Excellent. Glad. Okay. Brain. My brain is weird right now. Okay, that's what I need to do. There we go. And we need a dad joke. There we go. Okay, friends. Dad jokes. Spotlight on Kiki. Ta-da! Okay. Alright, so for our first dad jokes. I keep telling dad jokes, but I have no kids. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since I do have kids. Well, I have a kid. Oh, sorry. I keep telling dad jokes, but I have no kids. Uh, here I am telling the joke and not the punchline. <laughs> and, uh, apparently, yeah, I'm just bad. Anyways, the punchline is, they call me a faux pas. <laughs> Still requires kids. Still requires kids. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell this one properly, I swear. Two goldfish were hanging out in the tank when one said to the other, Hey, can you drive this thing? Yeah, that one wasn't good either. That was better. Like, that one had, like, a really good setup. Two goldfish hanging out in a tank. One said to the other. Yeah, that was not as great. Okay, what's a dentist's 
favorite city? <laughs> Las Vegas. <laughs> there, that was it. That one was just like just just lame enough to be good. All right. Thank you so much for redeeming dad jokes. All right. All right. Let's see if we can figure this thing out now. Where are my other pliers? I brought two sets of pliers on purpose. Where did the other one go? No, they're right there under my hand. Okay, I'm just blind. Hiding in Las Vegas, that's gross. Not a big fan of like dental hygiene stuff. I'm gonna put the jump rings on. I'm not gonna put the chain on just yet. I wanna get like everything into place while I'm figuring it out. It doesn't take much to put that. I heard one this morning, but I forgot it already. It was on TikTok, and I thought of you guys with your dad jokes. <laughs> uh, well, if you remembered or come across it in your internet wanderings again later, please feel free to drop it in the Discord. I'm sure we'd all love to see it. We have fur baby photos. We have fur baby photos to share. Hold on. Fur babies. Okay. So this is Felix and Leroy. Please tell me that's actually what you named him after, because that would just be... Oh, that's cute. He's kitties. Oh, why is that? Yes. He's kitties. They are so cute. All right. There's cute. Yes, that is what Hubley named them after. Excellent. They're old boys, 14 and 16. Oh, old boys are the best. My gully was the best old boy. He lived to the ripe old age of 18. And he was not all there by the end. But then again, he was not totally there throughout most of his life either. I think I've told you guys the story about how we're pretty sure he had carbon monoxide poisoning as a kitten um, before we adopted him. Because he was never all there and he had like a slew of health problems his whole life, but uh, he was the goodest old boy of a kitty cat. I worry very much about losing them. I... <laughs> Right? Like, it's totally... Cute. Cute! You're not late! That is perfect! That is still perfect! We know what we're talking about. <laughs> um, it's tough, because I lost my two kitties. Oh, thank you very much for the hydrate. Because I lost my Mo kitty when I think he was 14 or 15. Um... He had a, a slew of health problems. He had like a thyroid issue and some stuff like that. 
And Gully was just never quite right. But we had our gully till he was 18. He was an old boy. Sometimes I worry, like, Lily is already, like, oh my god, my Lily is already, like, almost six. I'm like, but she's so young, but at the same time, she's already almost six. I still think of her as my two-year-old little cat that I adopted. She grows up too fast. But she is more spry and energetic now than she ever was when we first got her. Because she had a bunch of health problems that we didn't realize she had. And now that we've got them all addressed and um, under control, she's a happy, healthy, playful kitty. Like, I never thought she would be as playful as she is. But now that we've got her healthy, she's like the cutest little thing. She'll like yell at us to play with her. more of these. I'm not going to worry about making up those two for now. Luna should get checked at the vet, but money and time. Yeah, we've uh, we've come to the place in our lives where we find that animal annual checkups end up costing us less money than having a surprise health problem show up in our laps. Not everybody is in a place where they can afford that either. I mean, pets are expensive no matter what you do, but they pretty much get their annual checkup, and we usually get things resolved as they come up that way. Oh, that reminds me, insurance denied my MRI, no! the sleep study is still on for tomorrow. I am so sorry that your insurance company is being a jerk. Like, why would an insurance company deny that? Like, Clearly an MRI is medically necessary. Nobody goes and just gets an MRI for funsies. Like... <sighs> yeah, that irritates me. Okay, so I need more of these for the other side. 
I'm going to use, like, all of these gold jump rings on this project. I mean, that's okay. It's still fun, no matter what. I'll just order some more from, like, AliExpress or whatever. really careful they are so small and fine that I'm gonna end up cracking something if I'm not really gentle <laughs> yeah that is so unfair honestly I wouldn't be surprised if the sleep study and rheumatology resolve 80% of my complaints well that's good that's at least a good at least in contrast Jimbo has been in the hospital since Sunday and had the most amazing uh, cat with contrast study done. So far, out of pocket cost, zero. Not even a duck. Well, I'm glad that uh, that is working for you. I hope Jimbo is okay. Um, or going to be okay. I can't even imagine, like, that kind of thing. Like, Fuck off, Lock. Fuck off. Good day, family. Weren't we making sooties? We're all done with sooties. Well, we're not all done with sooties. We are currently caught up with sooties. <laughs> Going to be okay, uh, 90 to 100% likely given time. Well, I'm, I'm glad that uh, there's a pretty good prognosis. Because that kind of stuff can be super scary. I live he like here where we are in Ontario. I'm gonna put one of these together just because I kind of want to give it a try right now. Where we live in Ontario, like our health care is included. Technically, like MRIs if ordered by a doctor are usually covered by um, our provincial health care, which we refer to as OHIP Ontario uh, here Ontario Health Insurance Plan, Health Care Insurance Plan, I think it is, and it's essentially the the, the government funded health care and stuff like that is covered but the wait times are like so excessive like my mother-in-law got ordered an MRI and to get it done covered by health OHIP she would have been waiting something like six months for it which is ridiculous like clearly she had a neurological condition that required real-time care and she would have been waiting like six months for an MRI or she could go to like a private clinic or go to the states and pay for it but then it turned out that uh, OHIP wouldn't accept those as valid t uh, tests that it wouldn't think they wouldn't have been able to use it which is ridiculous like it's it's dumb it's dumb the MRI was to see if there's something structural structural causing my headaches level four to six on a five on or five excuse me, level four to six on five or more days a week that's brutal but bad sleep or an autoimmune could cause the could also cause the issues yeah bad sleep can definitely screw with your brain. Lord knows I have experienced that enough times. I'm honestly surprised I haven't managed to land myself in a sleep study yet because I've had so much insomnia problems like all of my life. I'm just really surprised I haven't yet. Okay. So I really need these to be very short. Just a couple links each time. five or six links.
hoping that uh, I haven't made a total mess of this because this chain being too small of a gauge to fit on this, but we'll see what happens. This is the kind of thing where my eyesight is going, and it makes me very sad. Um, that sucks. I do hope they can find the cause and then remedy. Yes, the neurologist said that my airway, while sitting and breathing normally at the exam, um, was one of the smallest you've seen. Of course, I snore. I'm optimistic about the sleep studying us, giving us good data to find a solution. Yeah, you're probably going to get stuck with one of those CPAP machines. <laughs> I could never do a sleep study unless they gave me medicine to make me sleep, and it's not my bed and such, and I don't sleep, but at least not until the third or fourth night. Yeah, same. Like, I would not sleep for it, and, like, they need to get you where you get, like, a good, solid, like, three to four hour gap, at least, um, for them to get the data they need. And you can't take a sleeping pill, because that could just falsify the data, right? Like, they need it to be a natural sleep when you go in. I also could not do it, because I require cannabis to sleep, <laughs> so, I would not sleep there at all. Okay, so this looks like it's going to do what I need it to do. I just need to get these jump rings to close again. You can actually take a sleeping? Oh, okay. Well, then that is what I would do. I'd be like, all right, I've got this uh, benzo. See you later. Because <laughs> I do. Luckily, CPAP has come a long way, and they aren't as bulky or as loud as they used to be. Yeah, and you can get the ones that I don't know how efficient they are compared to, like, the standard units, but you can get the ones now that are literally just the small nose unit. I don't know if they're as efficient or whatever, but they, they do exist. Um... <laughs> They want it to be mostly like the way you sleep at home. Okay. Well, I don't usually sleep with sleeping pills. I only take them like once every couple of weeks when I really can't sleep. So. Then you flick in a bit and kick over. Thank you for having the strong bad rave. Thank you for all of the emotes in the chat. That is so fun. I love it. Thank you for flicking a bit at me, cucumber. Bunny bongos! Bunny bongos! Alright. Let's try cutting a few more of these. When I worked at a med supply place, I got to try a CPAP for a few minutes and best breathing I've ever had. Yeah, I guess that would probably, should have also been maybe a hint for you. <laughs> and from my mom's experience, the snoring will lessen or stop entirely with CPAP as long as she leaves it on. 
I'm not sure I could sleep with it off a mask on. I think that would drive me nuts. I toss and turn in my sleep too much. And I mean, maybe I wouldn't with the CPAP on. Maybe I might stay sleeping on my back the whole night, but because that is where I'm most comfortable. I would rather sleep on my back, but I roll over on my side a lot when I can't breathe as well. And my breathing itself is fine. What happens for me is I get what's called, I think it's called Qatar. It's effectively where like, because I have post nasal drip, I can like hear like a raspy, like clicky almost bubble popping sound inside of my head as, well, effectively as air flows over um, the post nasal drip. <laughs> but because like the way my brain works or my hearing works or something like I hear it inside of my head and it drives me bonkers and it keeps me awake and then I have to reposition to a position where that doesn't happen which is usually on my side slightly leaning forward which is not always the great for my back but it is what it is at least I sleep Oh, I know. Again, it all depends on the apnea level. If it's low, I'm open to the tonsil removal. I would love to not have to tow to CPAP to the campground. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Right. I think I might have uh, one too many on one of these. Well, maybe they're okay. Let's try connecting one up and see what happens. Pretty sure I've got too many on there. Too many links in this chain. One, two, three. Yeah, too many links on here. Too, too many links on here. Finally landed! Ooh, that's nice. Not quite that warm here. You're gonna get to go outside soon? Oh, that's lovely. Okay, I missed a few things. Okay, hold on. Um, I'm still rolls around and such with her machine on. It was an adjustment for a while. Fair enough. And then sperm donor did his test and he stopped breathing so many times they were shocked. I've heard that. I've heard that. I had a friend whose husband was like, we don't know how you don't die in your sleep. One, two, 
two, three, four. Nope, oh, just one too many. It's a good thing I was trying to really careful pay attention because otherwise I would have screwed this up worse. And that is a totally kinky thing to do. To miss math and make it worse. Is miss math a word? It is now. Right? To do math wrong, to miss math. Today, it's actually quite nice today. So we were expecting it to rain today, but it actually looks like it's going to be really nice here today. Because right now it is 14 degrees and it's going to get up to... I don't know, the weather network's not bringing it up. So, but... So, it's not bad. It's not going to be too bad today. That's probably more or less what we're going to peek at it. I don't think it's going to get too much warmer than this. Um, let's see. Ooh, no, we are going to get up to like 19 today. So we're going to get up to like what you're at right now, which is nice. Cool, cool, cool. Now we are going out this afternoon, so that'll be real nice. I think this is the right map. We, uh, Little Hunter and I didn't get all of our shopping done on Monday when we went out. So we were going to go out today. We're going to do groceries. We are going to the toy store because Little Hunter has a gift card that uh, my crossing partner gifted to them for Christmas. We haven't had a chance to go yet. And then we're gonna go to uh, the outlet mall and do hit just a few stores that Little Hunter and I both like. My kid is at the age now where they can fit into a limited amount of like uh, ladies extra small. Okay, why do these not seem to be the same? Where do I have one too many? Or is it just that this chain is a little... One, two, three, four. No, those should be fine. I think it's just the t chain got twisted. Okay, the chain is twisted on one of them, so I have to untwist it so it sits properly. please. We might need one less in the middle. I took one out in the middle. I think it's just because this one got twisted. I think it'll be okay once I do that because I counted them very closely and I'm pretty sure that they're right. I think it's just because this strain, this chain got twisted. Like the chain linked amounts, I don't know what it is. It must be like the placement of the holes um, being off just slightly because it's the same amount of chain links in each one. Oh, Asher, welcome on in. Good to see you, friends. Thanks for the follow. I kind of feel like they all need one less chain link. I feel like it's just a little bit too long of a hang. But maybe not.
I think, yeah, I think you're going to try and take one chain link out of all of them. It's going to be a, a pain in the butt, but we're going to do it because I want these to, to work well. Also, I need, have I landed yet today? What are our top scores? I know we just did them recently. No, I have not. Okay. Come on. Stop being a butt. There we go. Thank you. All right. I am not going to land anytime soon, apparently. All right. I'm going to leave this one as it is. When I do the next set of chains, I'm going to do it one less and see how it compares. And I think maybe that's a smart way to do it. Oh, thank you so much, Deb, for shouting out Asher Crafts. We're all trying to get our drops in today. One, two, three. So I had six links before. So I want five links this time. Oh, this chain is so small. One, two, three, four, five. Small lengths of chain. <laughs> I think it's really cute. I think it is going to end up needing one less, but we'll give it a try. Oh, we're going to queue a drop. Sure, we can do that. Um, okay, how do we... It is, I think it's... All right. Well, let's see how many people get in. So we've got our drops activated. Everybody drop your your exclamation drop. Wait, why are they? They're not dropping. Okay, they're cute. Everybody get your drops in. We'll see how many we can get. I won't make you redeem drop. We'll just do it once we, we think everybody who's hanging out gets it in. It should probably only do, I think it only does one per person. I'm not sure. I guess this is a good test because I've never seen smaller drops in a drop. So <laughs> anybody who knows more know whether or not there you can do more than one drop in a drop? <laughs> one per person. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. All right. So we are going to have an ad drop. An ad's going to roll in just a second. I'm going to let it roll. And then when we come back from ad... Um, then I will do the drop. I just don't want anybody to miss the drop if we get blocked behind ads. All right. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong place as I go and put my trimmer down or my uh, cutter down and messing up the chain and then I mess up my count. My brain can't figure out the right place to grab it anymore. One, two, three, four, five. Hope that was the right place. Where are my tiny tweezers right now? Okay. 10, 18, 42, because you're counting. Yes, good news is I can just not look at chat when you do that. fun projects that I think we're going to work on over time when we come back from my stream break because I'm still on track right now to have a wee little stream break next week um, and then when we come back Monday we're going to work on um, building the armature and the base for the um, 
Omu larger sculpt. Um, we have a project that we need to work on together because we want to um, make the stickers, t-shirt, logo, whatever out of do not eat the clay. So I'll have to take a photograph of a pile of clay on my own time and then we can edit that and do the graphics together on stream. I just need to make sure I remember to build a display for that. But I mean, over the course of my break, I should have no problem doing that. And then I also have another project that I wanna do because as much as I love the support pride things, um, they're getting expensive and I need to come up with another alternative that can be mailed less expensively. So I'm trying to come up with, uh, like either sticker sheets or, or something, um, or a larger sticker. And I kind of know what I'm going to start with. I have a design that I've been working for quite some time. Um, I do it to a little common all the time and it drives them crazy. I can imagine it would. Um, so I've got a project that I've been wanting to do for a long time because I wanted to do like the drawing of the safety pin with um, the selection of flowers that are specifically um, represent something in the LGBTQ plus community um, with um, some cursive script that says you are safe with me. And then I think I might uh, try to do like prints of that postcard sticker, something like that to replace the support pride shop because it costs like $8 for me to ship one of the support prides now um, because Canada Post won't let me set them, send them letter mail anymore because <laughs> they're not just letters inside and you can feel them. You can feel that there's something in there that isn't mail let up. Uh, paper and so they won't let me send it that way so I've been working on that so those are a couple projects that we're gonna have coming up once we get back from my stream break next week that you know we need to get into the loop plus I need to still photograph and edit all of these soot sprites and I'm I don't know I think that's gonna take me for like ever we might have to start working that on them on stream too like clearly I'll have to do the photography on my own because I can't use this camera to stream and do photography at the same time. Yeah, I can't. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, they know how to not just look at the chat when they are counting because they know it's coming. Fair enough, right? I can believe it. Here we go. Let's try and do this all at once. Let's try and open and close these a little less maybe. Let's see if that helps this process. Alright, so this one would be this end. Probably doing these one at a time so I don't have to keep opening and reclosing these jump rings is probably going to be my smartest idea. Be a little bit more time efficient too probably in the long run. All right, 
we are back from that. Okay, so I'm going to do that drop. Everybody, last chance to get your drops in if you haven't already. Give everyone just a second while I put this last jump, or not this last jump ring, but put this next jump ring on, and then I will start that drop. Just in case. Let's start a drop. I don't remember if you answered or if I even asked, have you sculpted a sloth before, like an oppa sized or an EV sized, and would you ever? Um, I have not sculpted a large sized sloth. I have sculpted one small sized sloth before that you've seen in the slideshow that I made the one little necklace of it like holding on. Um, I've never done a large size one. I won't say I wouldn't do. I'm going to start the drop now. I wouldn't say I wouldn't do one, but it's not something that is currently on my, like, to-do list. That was accidentally all caps, but it worked anyways. Okay, there we go. Look at us all bumping around. Look at us. Oh, no. Cucumber got bumped. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Dirty win for Donna. <laughs> knocking everybody else out. That was careful. If I ended up doing um, like a sloth sculpt, it would probably be because I felt like doing something weird with it. Like, hey, let's uh, sculpt a sloth doing some ridiculous task because we thought it was fun funny. Similarly with like how we ended up with a ballet, da ballet dancing cactus, I just went, that is just ludicrous enough to be a thing and I want to sculpt it. Um, but at present, no, I don't really have a plan for another, a sloth sculpture. All right. So there, yeah, I like it better with the five. I'm definitely going to take the extra piece out. I feel like the, it is too long the other way, but I really like that. to find where the jump rings connect together here so I can open it. It is hiding. I closed it so well that I can't find where it is. There it is. Okay.
one down, two more to go. Did you come? Oh no! Oh no! See, this is why I made extras of these. I knew this might happen. It broke. Boo earns. It broke. Guess what? We can fix that. That's unfortunate. Why is that so weak? Which means I'm going to have to reinforce these before I can even really finish with these. trim down this last one though and then I'll try and put it on one of the other ones I didn't take it to the wrong one, did I? Oh no. Took it out of the wrong one. You dope. No. That's right. Kind of a weird angle to now try to get it back onto like working on the middle one it's kind of weird just the angle of trying to get it on oh of course i get the jump ring stuck in the wrong spot Work with me here, jump ring. Work with me here.
last one should be easier to get back on now. So there is one more or less finished pair. I would need to mount them on the back, which I think we can do. Let's mount the... Pairing back. All right. Um, I'm gonna use the super glue because it'll work better. Ooh, good land, Nightbot. Cucumber, did you miss the drops? Okay, yeah, we can do a new drop. We can do a new drop. Sure. For my cucumber, please feel free to cue another drop. <laughs> Everybody get your drops in. just about everybody. Last call, last call for drops. Okay. All right. Cucumber, you are in fact here now, right? Yes? Yes? <laughs> All right. Excellent. There's our drop. into each other. Ooh, got a drop for land for Struble. Pretty good one, too. Oh, and... Oh, no, I didn't record that as a land. It looked like a land. Oh, yes! Cute. Wow, good land, cucumber. Good land. Okay. So we're gonna put some... Gold backs on. Give that a few minutes to cure, but then we'll have at least finished one pair of earrings today, and I love it. I'm going to try to put uh, the baskets on these ones, so I'm going to need more chain. Yay, second. Nice. Cute. I like them. I think they're cute. I think they've turned out well. Not a bad little experiment.
Whoops. The chain I needed flung that way. That's a waste of links. <laughs> and first, second, and last. Da, da, da. I don't know what that noise was. I think that was like a fail noise, but... I'm going to have to put my finger on it to make sure that it does not fly away on me. Alright, that's three down, three to go. Summon Dad. Yes, you are. <laughs> Good news, it sounds like it works. All right, I think that should be enough to put these ones on. We did a drop, and then Little Cucumber missed it, Little Hunter missed it, so we did another drop. <laughs> I thought he was dad. Oh, the other dad, yes. Pizza! He's my dad, at least. Yep. to get it on the chain in the most hang friendly position and that means I'm putting it at a weird angle but it's working <coughs> all right excellent the first one is on Oh, I'm 
glad. <laughs> it's almost flat. <laughs> Yes, you are suddenly bright green. Nobody, is anybody else bright green? Um, I'm not sure. There are a couple of people who don't have a set color and it comes up different colors all the time. It's weird for me because sometimes, it depends on what browser I look at. Sometimes you're one color in one browser and then a different color in another browser, but that you're always that same color in that view that we're looking at. I don't know. Yes, hello, Marshmallow. It is not food time, and there are other people in this house to bug for that anyways. You have an hour and a half, cat. Marshmallow, excuse you, excuse you, okay, you're making it impossible for me, you're shaking my chair, and you should not be clawing this anyways, when cats get extra cat-like. <laughs> doing hard work that requires precision and Marshmallow is just shaking my chair by clawing at it. I hate being the same color. I have such a hard time finding my own words sometimes. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm all to say orange. Yes. Well, it, you're not showing up on my screen as orange. But we can show you how to actually change what your color comes up as if you want at a later time. Yeah, they're orange on yours? Okay, weird. Maybe, I wonder if they're orange in one of my other browsers. They are not orange there, and they are not orange there. That's weird. They're coming up purple for me. Oh, we're going to catnip. Okay, hold on. Hold on. So we got two on. All right. That's done. So we can. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Look at my messy carpet. Look, look at it. Look at my messy carpet. Okay. All right. Where's the cabinet? Marshmallow! Lily! Where did I stash my catnip? I stashed it in one of these drawers. There it is. I knew I had some. Marshmallow. Liliana. Marshmallow with some catnip, at least. Lily! Oh, she's on the cat tree? Okay. So she's not coming. Yeah. That's okay. We got Marshmallow. Hey, Marshmallow. Marshmallow gets a catnip. 
Yeah. And we'll keep the camera trained on you and see you all roll around all silly. You want more? You want more? That wasn't a very big pile of cat. Meow. <laughs> she wants like right in there. She's trying to shove my hand out of the way. All right, there you go, Marshmallow. All right. All right. There we go. There's Marshmallow. Okay, let's get the last one on here. Give me the bag, Mom. Oh, yeah, she'd take the whole bag if she could. Marshmallow loves catnip. <laughs> I'm still here working, but she's the main show right now. Kiki, fun fact, you're not uh, allergic to cats, you're allergic to the stuff in the hair. Yes, it's specifically the dander, which is essentially kind of like a mixture of their saliva and their skin together. That is what you're specifically allergic to. Um, it affects them. Well, it depends. Uh, most cats, they have, if they eat it, it makes them sleepy. And if they inhale it, it makes them hyper. So she's probably going to be a little hyper right now because she sniffed it. Um, and then she's going to get sleepy because she ate it. <laughs> Damn the errs. All of our cats have absolutely detested catnip. Really? And they want nothing to do with it. I have never had a cat that was not enthusiastic about catnip. I think I have one too many links over here because it's too long and it's twisted. So I must have too many links over here. Mine loves catnip, but never ate it, only sniffed it a bit and rolled in it. Yeah, that's the cat who wants to be high. <laughs> nope, Marshmallow totally disappeared now. Just totally gone. Nope, the camera's not going to move that way. There we go. Boop. Not that we're going to keep this camera shut up. We're going to switch back, but there we go. All right. <laughs> She's going crazy upstairs. Yeah. Not surprised.
this one in here again. Okay, here we go. So there's that one, and then we just do this again here. Yes, Hunter took some extra time off this week to hang out with us during March break. It has been lovely. It hasn't taken the whole week off. I mean, small business owner, that's all but impossible. But um, yes, he took some extra time off this week. fully closed the jump ring and the chain fell off. My dad never did that. His solution, take me with him. I folded so many pizza boxes. There are times that where that does happen on occasion where little Hunter will go to the store with Hunter and like they usually are pretty excited and happy about it when it happens or at least for periods of time. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, most of the time I'm home with little Hunter. So. <laughs> but Hunter makes a very makes a point of making sure that they get lots of quality time together too, so. <laughs> yes, well, this is true. <laughs> twisted. Okay, good. Yeah, 
got one more to go. Just what tub? No cucumbers. <laughs> it's store bought, yeah. Cucumbers on pizza are not so much. Especially my little one. Not intrepid ones. Twisted. Of course it's twisted. Okay. Oh no. Come on, work with me here. There we go, okay. All right, there's the second pair. same length. It must just be the way the holes are sitting. Sometimes the holes make it just a little bit. Oh, and in ground beef. Yes. I'll never another meat ground beef. <laughs> I think it's like a sausage maybe. Like a ground, a crumbled sausage on it. So those ones are all done. Let's put some earring backs on these ones that are nice and cured now. Oh, thank you for flicking a bit at me. I flick a pizza bit at Kiki. There we go. All right. I'm going to grab some of the jewelry cards that I use to like hold on to short term while they're not on their final cards. We found a really good pizza from Walmart, chicken bacon ranch. Didn't cross. Oh, that's cool. We don't get the same wide assortment of things here um, at Walmart Canada that the United States does. So stuff like that we don't find here that often. We also don't do much of our grocery shopping at Walmart. We sometimes pick up a few things when we're there, but. All right. So there's a pair of the earrings on uh, temporary cards, just so we can kind of get the idea of them. I like them, they came out pretty nice. Those ones still need to cure. 
So we can try to um, do the same on these ones with the larger baskets. At least on one pair, maybe. By the end of it, we don't have a time It was definitely an interesting experiment. It took us two streams, but I like the idea. I really love the idea of doing um, some more detailed hot air balloons now. Like I want to do like a, like a half 3D sculpt, like where I actually sculpt 3D, but like that it's flat back though kind of thing. Um, and I think that that would be really, really cute. And in my head, they're like a really cute blue. Anyways, that's my next, that's what I, if I get back into doing, um, little hot air balloons, I think that that's what I'll do the next time, but it was definitely an interesting experiment to start with. So for these ones, I don't want to use a ton, but I might need, these are now going to be long enough that I might actually need an extra chain link on the two from the side as compared to the one in the middle. Like here, they're all so short, it doesn't really make a difference. But on the big ones, it's probably going to. I just stuck my finger in the glue and now I'm sticking to myself and everything. Great. <laughs> Cute. Cute. Oh no, you didn't get on the chain, right? No, okay, you're okay. You're just linked up. Funny. No, stop. Stop sticking to me. Stop sticking to me. Stop sticking to me. Cute. <laughs> We'll talk, Cucumber. We'll talk. Maybe. Because I don't think these are ones that I'm going to end up selling. So you could probably have them. <laughs> I don't typically wear dangly earrings, but I'd rock those. Nice. Okay. So I'm not sure if these jump rings are small enough, big enough to fit here. I'm going to try to see if I can get one of these jump rings in here and closed. But I think I might need the larger drunk ring for this hole. Ideally, I'll use the smaller ones. Okay, they seem to fit. All right, good stuff. <coughs> I'm definitely going to need more gold jump rings. I haven't historically worked in a lot of gold. I've always had a lot of silver, but I'm broadening my horizons. I think I'm gonna like adding a little bit of gold. Into <laughs> Hello, Gorb. Hello, Gorb. I don't typically wear earrings. I should definitely wear more earrings, especially more of my own earrings. I should come up with some very fun designs that are just fun that I make for myself and not necessarily anybody else just for fun but I don't know what I'd make just for me clearly it would be rainbow colored <laughs> I do likes me some rainbow stuff like right Picasso went through his blue period Kiki's going through her rainbow period Yeah, you can only drop one emote at a time. Okay, all right. And then which basket are we gonna take? I like... This one here. up these holes a little bit <laughs> how I felt about the silly TV right and we've all done that right especially when it may not be as easy for you guys to like get back behind the TV and see that kind of stuff it's not exactly the world's most accessible place. Okay. All right. So. I'm 
I'm thinking maybe seven links, six links, and seven links. Let's see how that works. I don't think we're going to fully get this one finished by the end of stream, but we're just going to exper keep experimenting, keep seeing where it goes. This one as awkward as it's going to be what I need to try to do is do the two outer links to the two two outer chains and then try to um, do the inner chain because it'll probably need to be slightly shorter Okay, good. For a second there, I thought I did that backwards. I did not. Mm, it's a little twisted, though, so it's kind of backwards. No longer twisted. Okay, good stuff. All right, let's do the other side. <laughs> yeah, oh, and yeah, it's nice today. We're not quite that warm, but that's excellently warm. Oh, our daily joy. My joy is all of you guys. Oh, Cucumber, aren't you the sweetest? My daily joy is... Hasn't happened yet. I think my daily joy is going to be shopping this afternoon. I'm really looking forward to getting myself some Capri tights. <laughs> All of you are fantastic and amazing and are often my joy. <laughs> but joy in the chat, friends. Please feel free to drop your joy emotes and to also um, share your daily joy as well. All right. Let's see how much I can get done in the next five minutes before we go, right? 
can I get at least one more chain on? I'll use for the middle one if I did, but I think I may have cut it too short. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I got the right length. All right, good stuff. Daily Joy, um, being able to go outside before pollen really ramps up and forces me to stay inside. That is a wonderful joy, because that, that is definitely a not good time. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly that pollen is a bitch. I have my own fight with pollen every single year. And it's starting early already this year because the weather has been so warm. again. How did that happen? Okay, that's, that's, like, annoying. <laughs> okay, guess what? I'm gonna fix that later. It's time for us to start looking at friends. So, we're gonna do that. <laughs> we're gonna look for friends. got a couple options. Let's go see if we can visit new friends first before we go and fall back on one of our old faithfuls. Oh, the old faithful I have isn't one of my old faithfuls, but um, part of the community for a long time. So let's think about that. seeing anything. Ooh, I want to look at you later though. Um, trying to do this before our ad roll. <laughs> Don't know if I'm going to make it. I've already uh, paused it at least once, so... gonna do is we're gonna go visit someone from our extended community 
we're going to oh and that's even perfect because it seems to be their stream anniversary hadn't even uh, really planned on it but or, but that that seems where we're going all right uh, we're not raining out right it doesn't look like it okay they've been on for three hours so I'm just making sure so we're gonna go and visit aura I think that's the, that's the pronunciation of their name yay got a friend pollen is a bitch yes okay I'm gonna snooze this ad because it's gonna roll before we get to go if I'm not careful all right so We've got our raid calls. Thank you, Deb, for set putting out our raid calls. First is for everyone. The second is for those with subs. Cucumber, you should still be able to use the one with subs if you wish to, because um, I can see that uh, the alt account still has a sub. And we're going to go and we're going to raid our friend, Aura, who is well known amongst our, yes, our makers and crafters. And uh, we're gonna go show them some love. And I think that that sounds like an idea that we're all gonna enjoy. It, they, it, they also have birthday week in their tag. So it looks like uh, definitely enjoy you a lot. Thanks, look, a little late, but I love it. All right, let's go show Aura some love. And we're gonna have a great time, friends. And I'll see you guys Friday. We'll finish up working on this or something else. I haven't decided yet. Um, and then next week we're going to take a break. Aura, excellent. Perfect. Excellent. All right, friends. I will see you guys all very soon. And I am so happy to have hung out with you today. And we're going to go show Aura some love. Take care, everybody. We'll see you Friday.